Today's question is, how do I stop rocking in the canter? Okay, so a lot of people struggle in the canter because <laughs> they do this rocking motion of, come on horse, come on horse, come on horse, come on horse, come on horse. Who's guilty of that? They want their horse to canter, so they canter for the horse. <laughs> and you can tell it doesn't work. Ollie's like, do you want trot? <laughs> your job is not to move your body in the rhythm of what you want the horse to do. Your job is to sit still. So if you feel that you're doing that, the first thing is bring your shoulders back, be the pole on the carousel horse, have a straight line between your ear, hip, um, and ankle. And when you're straight, if you're still feeling that you're doing that, I just need you to flatten your spine like a Pilates move, put your belly button into your back, so suck it in, come really, really tall, feel like someone's pulling your head to the sky and your heels down to the ground, so you go from five foot seven to six foot, and then that'll help you tighten everything you need to tighten to be stiller in the canter. So give that a go and enjoy. Today's episode gave you huge value. I would love to invite you to a free class I've created for you to help you look and feel like a Grand Prix dressage rider in as little as three rides per week. Don't worry if you don't have a good enough horse in secret number one, I'll tell you why that doesn't even matter. I'll tell you how to do it in less than, in only three rides. And I'll also tell you the secret you need to know to make sure you're doing in your riding to accelerate your results and get you to the next level. I can't wait to have you on the class. It's completely free, my gift to you. Click on the link to sign up.